Christmas is a really special time for me mm. because the diagnosis came Christmas Eve. January 2012, went to work, shut the car door, walked, I fell over. I couldn't get up. I'm reaching for this old woman to help me up. But something just wasn't right. I just started to feel a bit weird, you know, because I had a pain in my back. In early July 2010, my brother started to complain of headaches. You know, what could be wrong with me? Maybe I'm a bit anemic. This isn't me. They told me that I had chronic myeloid leukemia. Multiple myeloma, which is a, a bone marrow cancer. Which was Poem syndrome. And it's something that you don't imagine that could happen to you, but it does. It can come to any one of us at any time. I went through the treatment. I wasn't improving. I was getting worse. I was getting weaker. I walked into hospital and I'm coming out on crutches. Mm. So they had to send me away to a rehab. We had to learn how to walk, learn how to dress, learn how to cook, learn how... Everything you learn as a baby, I had to relearn it. I had muscle wastage. My hands wasn't actually like this. They were totally held in both arms. And I had no wrists. I still can't point and flex my ankles. So I had to wear splints in my shoes. And then they said to me, the only cure for me would be a bone marrow transplant. She said, you're going to have to go for a bone marrow transplant. Like stem cells to heart transplant. Because of my faith, and I had positive people around me, I just stayed positive and I thought, you know what? I'm going to go through this, I'm going to fight this. And we prayed and we all supported each other. And I'm rebuilding my life. The cancer was the making of me because it, 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 it means that now I've dedicated my time to trying to help other people. I'm here today to encourage you to support the ACLT. One in three of us is going to be affected in some way, shape or form. I'm still alive and there's many of us who are who didn't make it. There's somebody who I know who was diagnosed a year after I was diagnosed and he made it just about to Christmas. And there's lots of us that don't make it. And so if I'm still here, then I have to be here to do something. And so I see it as uh, my job, my role, my responsibility really being a dad to, to talk about the fact that so many people are going to be affected by it. And my biggest achievement is helping somebody to live. Right? Yeah. Yes, the, the glory of playing football was good and the money wasn't as great as it is today, but <laughs> I have to accept that. But the um, greatest gift you can give anyone is life, and that's my biggest achievement. I, because I've got children myself, I thought, you know, if ever I was in that position, I'd want someone to come forward and do it for me. And I just encourage you all, encourage you all that even if it's not, even if you don't think it's for you, try and encourage somebody else to do it because you'll never know when you or your family will need it.